What's going on? What's going on? Hey, hey everybody. everybody! Welcome back to Doug and Tara. House of the Dragon. Episode 5! Last episode was pretty wild. Yeah, a lot of, a lot of stuff's going down. It's very interesting. Man. Okay, where do we even begin? Um, well, where do we begin? <laughs> well, Otto was relieved of his duty. That's a nice way of phrasing it. He was fired. You're fired. Um, Damon and Renera had an adventure of sorts. They had quite an adventure. He took her to a pleasure house. A brothel. And was that to, like, get her turned on, or, like, was it, like, essentially, oh. like, you know, you put on a porno, so everyone gets, I know, like, right? sexy? He, he, he pushed her against the wall, turned her around, pulled her, well, yeah, he first her fondled her with her, yeah. pulled her pants down, got her turned on, and then said, bye! He ran away. He ran away. Do you think he ran away because his feelings for her are so strong and he's like kind of, you know, he's got a fucked up mentality. No, and... I think he's got some kind of an agenda. I think that's why he brought her there. I think that's why he took her hat off when they walked in so that everyone would see that that's her. And he's got to know that there are spies around. Yeah. Well, I, I definitely think he pulled their hoods down for an angle, but I don't think he planned on running away. I think that was like an internal thing, and that's why he got just absolutely smashed. Really? Afterwards, because he ran away, and then he was like, oh my god, I'm just going to drink till I black out now because I'm having a whole mix of feelings. Okay, that's, that's one point of view. That's my point of view. That's um, her point of view. I don't know if it's just because Game of Thrones. I don't know. It's weird. In Game of Thrones, Cersei and Jamie, I just thought were disgusting. I hated it. But here, I just, <laughs> I love them together. I, I want I want Damon and Renera to be together forever. Aww. <laughs> well, he asked for her. Mm -hmm, he did. When the king was beating him up on the floor. It was poorly timed. Right. But... He said, give me Renera and the two of us, I will accept her the way she is, and the two of us will... Conquer. Conquer. We will Which make, I think they We will would. make America great again. <laughs> we will make whatever it is. Uh, we will make um, King's Landing great again. Well, we will make our our crown, our title, our name. Yeah. The Targaryens. And I truly Kings think they again. would. I bet they, they would. They both have such They both fire have dragons. Again. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Two, yeah. But. A serious power couple. The king said, you're going to marry. Gosh, this is where I'm bad with names. The guy with the long white hair son, who's oh, also Renera. a dragon yeah. fighter. You're going to marry him. Yeah. And I think that would be a good match. They're both similar in age. Boo. Once she meets him, I think she's going to. Boo. Well, she doesn't like the idea now, but I think once she meets him. She'll be more inclined to think this is not a bad idea. Boo. But she likes Christian. She. She's in I don't, love. I don't Christian. think she. I don't think she's in love with him. I think he is a person that she is around that she cares about, and he just happened to run into her when she was really turned on, and that's why that happened. Yeah. I don't think she has strong emotions towards him. I think he is a person that is around her, which I'm sure a lot of women have had an experience with. Where they kind of fool around with a guy, not because they really liked them, but because they were there and the guy clearly liked them. Especially when we're younger and her age. I don't think she loves Sir Christian. I don't. She was like, what, I think she cares about him. Episode. Twenty. I think she was 19. No, she was 17 15. and then they aged four years. She was 15. She was 17. A decade and seven. Oh, well, she's supposed to be 15. I'm sorry. She was 15 in the first episode, yeah. but then two years went by when they had the baby, and then the last episode was four years later. That so was a it was, four-year gap? Yeah, so it was 21. Who knows how big of a gap it's going to be in this episode? I don't know. 
You don't but know. we still have the same actors. This is our final episode with them. So we're told. I'm, I'm sad about that. Well, you have a time to say goodbye. You know it's coming. I know it's coming. So there's that. And I'm told that the new Rhaenyra doesn't have the same type of she nose. She doesn't have the same nose. <laughs> it's the only thing that bothers me. Does look like an older Rhaenyra, just the nose is messed up. Yeah. But she's probably a fantastic actress, and I am excited to see what these new actors will bring to the characters Well, themselves. I'm excited to see where the story goes, for sure. I was wondering, do you think Otto might um, go try to be friends with the Valerian couple? That's angry at them? Yeah. I don't know, but that brings up another thing. He's not going to be the Hand of the King anymore. Who's so. going to be the hand of the king? Yeah. He has to He has to appoint somebody to be the hand of the king. A new guy. Yeah. I think he should appoint that guy. The, yeah. With the yeah, long, yeah, yeah, long yeah. hair. That way, pull them both back together again. He won't be mad anymore. I just feel like the tensions are too high that I don't think he would accept it or something. Yeah, he something. wanted his son. He wants his son to be, like, the heir. Yeah. Well, he originally wanted his daughter to be the queen. Right. And he was greatly offended that he didn't choose her. I've never even seen his daughter yet. Yes, we did. We did? It took a while. Oh, that little, child. little child. Yeah, child. Stop. <laughs> no. Well, she's older now. Yeah, she's probably... You know. I, I don't remember seeing her in the scene. I don't know if maybe I, what the pictures I saw were from this episode, but I did see some pictures of her, and she's de definitely not a child anymore, so there's okay, that. Okay, so she's going to be involved in the story. Interesting. Well, on that note... <laughs> I know, and that's so much going on. It's like um, a whirlwind. If it's your first time here, welcome. Please don't forget to hit like and subscribe. If I'm it's... her dad. Yes, he is. She's my daughter. That's true. And if it is not your first time and you haven't already done that, hit like come and on, subscribe. Man. And hit the bell. Click the link. All and then we got our Patreon and that link will be listed below in the yeah. description. Full unedited episodes. Mm -hmm. And on that note. On that note. And away we, we go. We go. Beautiful sky. Mm-hmm. Tomorrow, Lady Rear. Cousin? Jefferson Company? I'd rather ride alone. I'd rather ride alone. That reminded me of... Brianne. Who? Brianne. Brianne, yes. Is this Damon? Husband? Oh, yep, yeah, that's the wife that can't <gasps> have kids. What brings you to the veil? Your husband says mean things about you. Yeah, her. she's not at, at all what I thought. Or have you at last come to consummate our marriage? Or perhaps your brother has at last had his fill of your company. What will you do now? Will you strike the child down? I think he's going to strike you down. Nah. Yes. Oh, yeah. He did that. See how he was like... Yeah, 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 I followed. Oh my god. He does not like her. She doesn't like him either. No, I see that. Is she just gonna leave him there? I knew you couldn't finish. Did she break her back? Oh my gosh! Did she break her back? Well, she hasn't moved. She's paralyzed now? Ding! I think she's about to get stoned. Not in the good way either. Well, that was. Oh, the start. king! He's got seasick. 
Such a manly man. Where are they going? Are they going to her funeral? I don't know. I don't know where they're going. I'd have to see their manifest. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> yeah, I think that's where they're going. His wife would be more in the series. Nice umbrella. <gasps> Otto! I don't know which to see you Aww, still her dad. Your informant was wrong, an honest mistake perhaps, but I did not foresee this. Shut up. You told your queen to shut up. And your daughter. The king will die. And if Ramirez succeeds him, war will follow, do you understand? And to secure her claim, she'll have to put your children to the sword. She'll have no choice. You know it. Please. You're no fool, and yet you choose not to see it. Either you prepare Egon to rule, or you cleave to Ramira and pray for her mercy. As much as I hate him, I do really think he probably 100% believes that, and that kind of just made that more of a caring about his daughter kind of way. At least that's how I felt I about it. I feel like he believes that. I yeah. feel like he believes that, and he's general, genuinely fearful now for his daughter. Right. But I really doubt that Rhaenyra would kill... I want to say that too, but you know what? You, we just never know what happens in these shows. True. Rhaenyra right now? No. Right. But we've seen character declines before. Yeah, true. So, I don't know. This I think this is probably the only scene where I just didn't hate Otto the whole time while he spoke. I just want to say, like Daenerys, season one Daenerys would have not done that to King's Landing. No. Obviously. You know what they say about Targaryens? <sighs> what? They flip a coin. Yeah. <laughs> now she probably feels truly alone. is not doing well. No. <laughs> I was going to say, if you get seasick, you might not do well in that thing either. And then add to that, he's rotting. <laughs> yeah. Poor guy. Where is Lord Corliss? He should be here to receive the king. He's still mad. Ah, oh, she has grown. Welcome to High Tide, Your Grace. Is this how House Valarian greets its king? Let's just get on with it. Lord Laris. Nature. Such mystery. You seem creepy. The weather has been lovely. Your father was a good man. As is yours, who took his place. His dad took his place. What? Well, she, he said your father was a good man, and she said, so is yours. Who took his place? So that guy's dad's the new hand of the king? You heard that, right? Yeah, yeah. but I wasn't putting that together. That's what that would mean, right? Your right? father was a good man. Yeah, obviously he's not dead. Come on, man. Let us discover what might be had for breakfast. She's taller than Renera now. 
Funny how that works sometimes. Rhaenyra looks like a short person. She looks like she's older than Rhaenyra, too. But she was like 10 years younger. Some people experience puberty a lot different than I others. know. That just means Rhaenyra will look younger longer. Sitting on his own throne. A throne that won't kill you. No yeah, shot for right. at all. <laughs> Your grace. He still looks so mad at him. <laughs> this man's dying. Cousin. There she is. Princess. <laughs> oh, he's lost another finger. There you know... Knowing that after this episode, the big time gap happens, I wouldn't be surprised if he dies before the episode's over. He's only got a pinky on that one hand. Yeah. And he's coughing. And he's, oh. I wouldn't be surprised if this is the last time we see Viserys. Yeah, I wouldn't be either. To Lord Lionel, I can think of no man more suited to be the hand of the king. This is very kind of you. So he did pick words. him. So that guy's son is that creepzoid? Oh my gosh. So they did pick him. He's a he seems like a great guy and the His, son seems like such a creep. Yeah, and why why is what's what's wrong with him? He limps. He's got a weird foot. Is that it? Yeah. I, I missed that. Damon's wife, the Lady Rhea Royce, has passed. He didn't know. A hunting mishap. A most surprising end. Lady Rhea's skill as both rider and hunter were well known. Yeah, how convenient. For Lady Damon. Rhea was a fine woman and a good wife to my brother. I don't want to defend Damon, but I don't think he would have done that had she not been talking so much shit. Do you? Yeah, I think that's why he went there. Really? To kill her? That would make sense. It would fit him. But at one point it looked like he was like going to leave. And then she kept shouting at him. I don't know. I'm I'm sorry. I'm not trying to defend Damon. I just I I I am by accident. I wish to propose a marriage between your son Selena and my daughter and heir, the Princess Rhaenyra. You honor both me and my house, Your Grace. We would like to know how the succession will be handled. Yeah. My heir. Upon my death, my throne and my titles will pass to her. Can I presume that their children would take their father's name? That they would be born Valarians? Oh, shit. I didn't think about that. I only seek clarity, Your Grace. <laughs> he just Nothing. dies right here yeah, before he just, anything oh, happens. Yeah. Selena and Rhaenyra's children shall take their father's name, Valarian. Huh. At such time when their firstborn ascends the Iron Throne, he or she will do so bearing the name Targaryen. Okay, got some chess moves. Dragons will rule the Seven Kingdoms for the next hundred years. Seems like a good compromise. This is an equitable compromise. All right. Good. I know this union is not what you would choose. Dare I say it is a matter of taste. I prefer roast duck to goose. There are those who like goose very well. I find it a bit greasy for my taste. And what do you propose? That we perform our duty to our fathers and to the realm. And when it's done, each of us dines as we see fit. I had a feeling they weren't talking about ducks and gooses. Yeah. Cyrus is taken to bed while his ship is readied. He's taken to bed. It's undignified of the king to drag himself here and beg for Lenor's hand. They really like lay names. Lenor. Lenor. Lena. Lena. <laughs> She's grown quite comely these last few years. You know his true nature. He's still young. His true nature? Yeah. Is he gay? 
There is no pleasure in the world. Is that when they were talking about ducks and gooses? Yeah. Ah! So they both like duck. <laughs> okay. Betting a woman. We are placing our son in danger. Rhaenyra's succession will be challenged. Knives will come out for her, her husband, and for their heirs. It'll Anyone still happen. enough to challenge Rhaenyra's claim will be crushed. Ha <laughs> ha! By all rights, you should be queen of the Seven Kingdoms. Because the realm would not have it. And I would remedy that. I've always feared the day to have to marry a woman. Now it comes. I've come to meet my fate and you make a jape of it. <laughs> Think of the tournament. With the feast, the battles at sea. <laughs> You're a fool. <laughs> so he has a boyfriend. This is better than I could have hoped for. Yeah. That's true. She has a paramour of her own. Mm. It's your boy toy. I needed to see you, princess. You confess I had a similar desire. You have confided in me now and then. I've heard you say so many times how you loathe the lot of your position. Selena is a good and, and decent man for you. You did not choose him. What are you getting at? If there were another path, would you tread it? I was a knight in Stormlands. I have deep knowledge of the port of Sunspear. He wants her to run away with him. Are you asking for me? I'm asking you. Come with me. From the burdens and indignities of your inheritance, let us leave it all behind. I don't know if that would work, though. She can't. Everyone would be looking for her. Yeah. And she's very obvious. <laughs> yes, she is. <laughs> oh, poor guy. And you would be killed. You would be... For kidnapping the princess. Yeah, you would be drawn and quartered. Oh, but he just wants to elope. That's so precious. Look at his eyes. He... I'm sorry, bud. Yes. And free. Free to go where we like, to love as we like. You can marry me. A marriage for love, not for the crown. She's gonna say, I can't see you anymore. I am the crown. Do you think I would choose infamy in exchange for a bushel of oranges? Hmm. It is my duty to marry a noble man, and Selena will make a fine husband. So Chris and Lena and I have an understanding. Uh, second fiddle. So you want me to be your whore? Yeah. I want us to continue as we began. I took an oath. I've broken it. I I've outsourced my, my, my white cloak. It is the only thing I have to my fucking name. I, I thought if we were married, I might be able to restore it. The Iron Throne looms larger than me, Bob. So, Kristen. No, you just broke his heart. Broken completely. Man, that's a cool looking ship. This whole episode is just beautiful shots. Yeah. <laughs> He's on his last legs. <laughs> oh, literally. Where's my wife? Is he dying? 
We don't need Nietzsche. Sir Kristen. You've been summoned. Not the princess, sir. The queen. The queen. What does Alicent want? I fear I must question you on a, on a delicate matter, Sir Kristen. She's going to ask about Rhaenyra's tea. There has been a rumor of a lapse of morals. It is, of course, unthinkable for me to question the virtue of the princess, whom I hold in highest regard. He doesn't know if he's talking to. <laughs> Does he even know about Damon? No, or? and he probably so. thinks he's, he's talking about him and her. And she doesn't even know about him. No! This is a mess. Oh my gosh. Hope he doesn't say anything. I just don't want to see his face when she brings up Damon. Oh my gosh. I'm not unaware that in a flush of youth, there may be errors made. Send your grace. He didn't say what happened though, he just said it happened. Sin you allude to. No! Shut up! I have committed it. Ah! At her instigation, it is true, but that should. That is no excuse. Oh! I knew it! My oath has been broken. I have dishonored myself. Oh my god. She's like, what? But if. As a clement queen, you are inclined to pity. You should just let her talk more. I would ask only this. That rather than gelding me and having me tortured, you would sentence me mercifully to death. Ah! You should have just shut up. Thank you for your honesty, Sir Kristen. Jeez! You may go. That was a wild mess. Oh my gosh. What in the world? Rest now, your grace. I will bring the... Oh my gosh. ...herbal poultices that might be... The leechings have always brought his grace relief. The leeches. Look at his hand. Ah! Oh my gosh! At this point, just put him out of his misery. Just let him die. Will I be remembered as a good king, Lionel? You have carried King Jaehaerys' legacy. You kept the realm strong. There is a part of me that wishes I'd been tested. Many that are tested only wish to have been spared it. I have a feeling this is his last night. Red Dragon! We know who that is. And a white one. <laughs> House Lannister, with their lord, Jason Lannister. Boo. Lord Palamon, House Hightower. Look at that blonde hair. It's just the wedding? Yes. Oh, the king's hey, still alive. He made it to the wedding. Well, we all know what these weddings come with. Yeah. Are we going to hear the bells uh, no. of... I don't. Well, um, at, at least I don't think um, anyone is going to be slaughtered. No. Yeah. <laughs> oh, maybe he'll die at the wedding. Someone always has to die at a wedding. If this is only the welcome feast, I admit I cannot imagine what you might have planned for the wedding. Oh, it's just the welcome feast. Okay. I wanted this to be a wedding for the histories. Where is the queen? I understand the queen is still readying herself for the celebrations. 
Oh yeah, what did Allison do? This is why men wage war. Because a woman would never be ready for the battle in time. <laughs> You're such a fucking Lannister. <laughs> You're so funny. Your presence is always such a pleasure, Lord Jason. Prince. Your Grace. Your Grace. Princess Rhaenyra. Congratulations are in order. Lord Paulus of House Valarian and his lady wife, Princess Rhaenys Targaryen, and their son and heir, Selena Valarian. What an it? What a walk in. Consort. I feel like I should stand. I know. I love all their outfits. What a great little combo. Why is Allison not there yet? I, I don't feel know. Like she's doing something and it's making me very nervous. How much time has passed between when she found out about her and Chris Kristen and right now? Ah, what is happening? It's been a while. It's been, it wasn't today. It wasn't this very day. But why is she late? My betrothed. My betrothed. What if Allison just announces it to everybody? No, she's not going to do that. It's so weird. I don't like him. <laughs> Oh yeah, she would be considered sullied. Yeah. It would kind of ruin everything. Oh my gosh. Please. Damon. Don't tell me that. And Damon doesn't know about Christian. <laughs> so dramatic. <laughs> it's so complicated. Did the king not know he was going to show up? I don't know. This is so funny. And not funny. Be welcome. We honor the crown's oldest and fiercest ally, reaching back to the days of old Valyria and the age of dragons with House Targaryen and... Ha what does he see? Don't tell me it's Allison. It's Allison. Oh! What is happening right now? I don't know. <laughs> but something. The king will not be happy right in the midst of his speech. Yeah, right in the middle of his speech. Do you know what color it glows when Old Town calls its banners to war? Green. Huh? Congratulations, Stepbrother. He didn't finish the speech. I, everyone's a little flustered right now. Well, my darling, the journey of the two houses shall grace. I hope to herald in a second age of dragons in Westeros. After tonight's small affair, seven days of tournament and feasting. Seven days. <laughs> At the end of it all, a royal wedding. Oh, this is, shit. This is the most awkward table right now. Drum roll, please. Are they going to dance? Uh... It appears so. I was never much of a dancer. It's not much different to combat. Mm -hmm. I've never been much of a dancer either. She's so mad. So, what's she gonna do? 
I'm afraid of her now. Knowledge is power. And then he looked at Sir Christian. He knows. Where are you going? We thank you for coming, Uncle. Know that Old Town stands with you. Got a feeling she's gonna go say something to Renera. Renera. In the veil. Men are made to answer for their crimes, even Targaryens. Who are you? Sir Gerald Royce. Um, I am cousin to your late lady wife. We know you did it, though. You know better than anyone. It was no accident. I am making an accusation. <laughs> Whoa! The truth is, I'm glad you've come. I wish to speak to you about my inheritance. Lady Rhea and I had no heirs, as her husband, whatever she was due, now passes to me. After my niece's wedding, I plan to fly to the Eyrie and petition Lady Jane myself. Perhaps I'll see you there, Sir Gerald. Ooh. There's just a lot of things happening right now. So much. <laughs> I feel like something's about to happen. Me too. Okay, everyone's getting up and moving and I'm uncomfortable with it. Has anybody ever told you you're nearly as pretty as your brother? Why you flatter me, my prince? So Kristen Cole. A sworn protector. Look at him. I believe so. Kristen has bloodied that white cloak of his with your bridesmaid in there. Keep your voice down. This is a good thing. She knows your secret. And now you know it. If you have something to say, Sir Geoffrey, speak it. Sir Lano is quite dear to me. I'm so nervous. And we should swear to each other to guard them and their secrets. Because if those are kept safe, then so will be all. Okay. So they have an agreement, sort of. Is he gonna kiss her right there? What's going on? What's going on? Seven hell is going on. What the fuck is happening? I have no idea. Oh my god! Christian? Happening. Stop this. Where's Renia? He's going to die. What the hell? 
I'm so confused. Oh my god. Uh. Oh, and your boyfriend just died. We stand here tonight in thanks and praise. Are they just getting married right now? What's happening? Father. Warrior. Smith. Stranger. Here now. I am yours, and you are mine. I am yours, and you are mine. He's gonna kill himself. Yeah. What happened to the seven days of... I think after all of that, they decided to just do it right now. I proclaim... Oh my god, what an awful day to get married. Bilarium. Both of their loves are dying tonight. Of House Targaryen. To be man and wife, one flesh, oh my God. one heart, now and forever. Sir Kristen. Alicent? Yeah. And he died. Oh my gosh. <sighs> okay, so we don't know what's going to happen with Christian. No, he... He was about to kill himself, but now... Allison, I think, stopped that, and now it's a mystery. Yeah. We don't know whether he killed himself or he's gone. Um, That's so crazy. You were right, though. It's a Somebody's got to die. It's a wedding. <laughs> <laughs> no one can't not. I didn't die. know it was gonna be the boyfriend of He shouldn't have gone and talked to Christian. Christian I know. He didn't know who he was talking to. Christian was Obviously neither did we. <laughs> torn. I don't I wasn't expecting that at all. No, he beat him to a pulp, literally. I thought Damon was about to take Renera away. All I the did chaos. Too. I thought maybe that was the goal of the whole thing. I I also kept expecting him to storm in. Wow, what an episode. Best episode yet, for sure. I think. Uh, all that was these, the most intense. Yeah, all these storylines are getting all intermingled and... Uh, and so now we're just about to jump forward a bunch of time. Yeah, she's going to be the queen. He's going to be older. Oh my goodness. I don't know. Are you, do you know for a fact that next episode is the big jump? Wow. <laughs> okay, a lot happened. Yeah, a lot happened. Allison found out. Kristen. Why did he open his mouth so fast before he even had a chance to listen Maybe to what Maybe he thought Allison... that would help him more if he was just very forthcoming. Right. And now what's Allison's move? I don't know. She's not even queen anymore. No. She's not queen anymore, and her dad is gone. And she hates Renera. Her dad's gone. Yeah, well, they sent Otto away. Back to, what is it, Hightower? Or is that just their last name? But That's they their sent last him name. I know it's their last name, but they sent him away. So she's, like, by herself right now. When did they send him away? I, I'm Literally, you're, you're... their whole scene together was right before he left. Okay. In the beginning. He got sent to where they're from. I just don't remember where that is. 
Okay. Remember, he was talking to her, and then he got on a horse and then left? Yeah. I don't think he's welcome there anymore. I think he, they went back to whatever kingdom that they're actually from. Oh, I just thought he got on a horse and no. went back to his house. No. What makes you think he was banished Because his to house, some other... his house would have been the, the where the king lives. That's where they all lived. He's not the head of the king anymore. I'm assuming his house is actually where they're from. I don't think they're from King's Landing. Well, we don't know that, and I think you're guessing. I feel pretty confidently that he's not in King's Landing right now. Okay. Well, he's definitely not Hand of the King anymore. Is even the new Hand of the King Hand of the King still? Don't Do, do they just appoint new Hand of the Kings when there's like a new ruler? I, Is he now Hand to Rhaenyra? I don't know. We don't know Hand these to the Queen. Hand to the Queen. Women. <laughs> Man, that was intense. Poor Lainor. Yeah. The love of his life just got brutally murdered in front of him. And then they were like, let's get married now. <laughs> like, he hasn't even grieved yet, and now he's married. And Viserys is dead. I think. I'm pretty sure that was it. Yeah. And Which could have also been a big reason he wanted to get that, get them married now. Before he died. Right. Because he knew he was bleeding out. Yeah. And uh, I thought... I thought... Rhaenyra was losing her love, too. Until... Allison came in. What is yeah. Allison going to do? Yeah, what is her agenda? What a TV series! We're in season one! Season one? We're halfway through season one. Well, that was a great half-season Mid -season finale. finale. <laughs> Mid-season finale. Wow. Oh my gosh, and the whole time they were dancing and the music was speeding up, my heart was racing the faster the tempo got. Yeah. I honestly was expecting them to play Reigns of Kashmir. <laughs> like... I know. That it have... almost was. I mean, where did all these people start rushing, and how did it start? I think... It must have started Kristen. Yeah, I think he started beating him, and then just in a fit of chaos, no one knows what's happening. All they know is that guy just attacked that guy. I think right. everyone just started freaking out, because we're also in these times. You see somebody beating someone else up, that probably means you're getting invaded or something, or something really bad's happening. Yeah. It actually kind of reminded me of videos in America where a loud sound happens and everybody starts freaking out and running because they think it's a right a shooting. That's the vibe I got from all of that. And where did Damon go? What is he gonna do now? He was. I thought he was about to take. So did I. I, I thought, thought he was about was to it. kiss her right in front of everybody. So did I. And he looked like he was, and the king was going like this, and he had the her in his hands, and I, and first, then all of a sudden, boom, boom, At first, boom. I thought the commotion was his plan. Right. Was a part of Damon's plan. Yeah. He was going to talk to her, and then... His guys, he had people set up to cause a commotion or something. I think it's also clear Renera kind of wanted him to do it. I think she did. I think that that wasn't that wasn't like a calling your bluff type of deal. I think that was a do fucking it fucking do it do it. That's what I want. Let's go. So not only did Sir Kristen do that, she thought she was making an actual pledge for Damon to do something so she could wind up with him, and then all of that happened. And by the end of the night, they're actually married. <laughs> Their marriage is doomed. <laughs> That was wild. <laughs> That's to say the least. That was wild. <laughs> I've never seen such a wild episode this early into a show. I applaud the writers, man. This has been just utterly yeah, amazing. Yeah, who comes up with this stuff, Mr. Martin? 
Yeah, and when are you going to finish your books? I just found out that we're not waiting on the last book. We're waiting on the second to last book. What is that about? That's ridiculous. And then he'll decide to write other books in between. No, yeah. He'll start. He's, he's like one of those people that starts things, starts a bunch of things and never finishes No, them. and apparently one of the other like kind of side books that's still all in the same realm that he started is supposed to be a two-part series that he's only written one book for. So he's got three books he's told Game of Thrones fans that he's going to write. And he's in his 70s. He's going to die like the king. In true Game of Thrones fashion. Yep. <laughs> oh well, my gosh. We hope you've liked our reaction. I liked reacting to it. I, I did as well. <laughs> so, meet us here next time, next week. Oh my gosh, and, what uh, is going to happen? We will all find out together what is going to happen. And you will finally see the new actors. This guy has not seen a single picture or anything of what these new actors look like in, didn't in wanna, costume. I didn't want to see it. I didn't want it to be true. Sorry. Alright. Um... As we said in the beginning, don't forget to hit like and subscribe and check out our Patreon. Yes. Everything listed below. And on that note, we are signing out.